Hi, how are you? Aquí tienes la lección 14 de nuestro curso gratuito de inglés para principiantes. En 30 lecciones y 6 retos aprenderás inglés con la historia de Ben. En la última lección, Lisa tuvo buenas noticias y ellos se van otra vez a Inglaterra. Y hoy vamos a ver qué va a vender Ben. Y vamos allá y veamos qué hay de nuevo en esta lección. Y como siempre, aprenderemos todo paso a paso. Let's go. El primer paso en cada lección es ver el vídeo completo de la lección sobre la historia de Ben. El enfoque es claramente en escuchar y ver las imágenes. Y si todavía no entiendes nada, no hay problema, porque después aprenderemos todo paso a paso. Entonces, relájate ahora y disfruta de la historia de Ben. Lesson 14, Part 1 Good morning. How's everything? I've got a large house in Madrid. And I'm selling it for 400,000 euro. Now we need an apartment in London. Lesson 14, Part 2 I've got a large house in Madrid. Have I got a house in Barcelona? No, not in Barcelona. You've got a house in Madrid. Is the house large or small? Large. The house is large and not small. Has Lisa got a large house? No, you've got a large house. And where is the house? In Madrid. It's in Madrid. Lesson 14, Part 3 And I'm selling it for 400,000 euro. Am I buying a house? No, you're not buying a house. You're selling your house. What am I selling? Your house. You're selling your house. How much does the house cost? 400,000 euro. It costs 400,000 euro. What costs 400,000 euro? Your house. Your house costs 400,000 euro. Lesson 14, Part 4 Now we need an apartment in London. Do we need a bike? No, you don't need a bike. What do we need? An apartment. You need an apartment. And where do we need an apartment? In London. You need an apartment in London. And when do we need an apartment? Now. You need an apartment now. Lesson 14, Part 5 Ben hasn't got a small house. He's got a large house in Madrid. And he's selling it for €400,000. Now, Ben and Lisa need an apartment in London. Lesson 14, Part 6 I didn't have a small house. I had a large house in Madrid, and I sold it for €400,000. So, we needed an apartment in London. Lesson 14, Part 7 Ben had a large house in Madrid, and he sold it for €400,000. Lisa and Ben didn't need an apartment in Paris. They needed an apartment in London. Lesson 14, Part 8 Ben has a large house in Madrid. He's going to sell it for €400,000. So, Ben and Lisa are going to need an apartment in London. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Si todavía no hayas entendido nada, no te preocupes, porque ahora vamos a estudiar todo paso a paso. Primero tenemos que aprender el vocabulario nuevo de la lección con Quizlet. El enlace está en la descripción del vídeo. Por eso ahora para el vídeo y aprende activamente el vocabulario de la lección con Quizlet. Hasta puedes dominar todo. Si has aprendido todas las palabras nuevas de la lección, entonces, ahora puedes ver la parte 1 del vídeo completo. Y aquí, Ben cuenta su historia 
en presente y primera persona. Vas a ver esta parte cinco veces. Y por favor, habla en voz alta junto con el vídeo. Lesson 14, part 1. Good morning. How's everything? I've got a large house in Madrid. And I'm selling it for 400,000 euro. Now we need an apartment in London. Lesson 14, part 1. Good morning. How's everything? I've got a large house in Madrid. And I'm selling it for 400,000 euro. Now we need an apartment in London. Lesson 14, part 1. Good morning. How's everything? I've got a large house in Madrid. And I'm selling it for 400,000 euro. Now we need an apartment in London. Lesson 14, part 1. Good morning. How's everything? I've got a large house in Madrid. And I'm selling it for 400,000 euro. Now we need an apartment in London. Lesson 14, part 1. Good morning. How's everything? I've got a large house in Madrid. And I'm selling it for 400,000 euro. Now we need an apartment in London. Y ahora puedes ver la parte 2. Aquí tenemos preguntas y respuestas. Ven pregunta y una mujer responde. Vas a ver esta parte otra vez cinco veces. Y por favor, intenta hablar en voz alta junto con el vídeo. Lesson 14, part 2. I've got a large house in Madrid. Have I got a house in Barcelona? No, not in Barcelona. You've got a house in Madrid. Is the house large or small? Large. The house is large and not small. Has Lisa got a large house? No, you've got a large house. And where is the house? In Madrid. It's in Madrid. Lesson 14, part 2. I've got a large house in Madrid. Have I got a house in Barcelona? No, not in Barcelona. You've got a house in Madrid. Is the house large or small? Large. The house is large and not small. Has Lisa got a large house? No, you've got a large house. And where is the house? In Madrid. It's in Madrid. Lesson 14, part 2. I've got a large house in Madrid. Have I got a house in Barcelona? No, not in Barcelona. You've got a house in Madrid. Is the house large or small? Large. The house is large and not small. Has Lisa got a large house? No, you've got a large house. And where is the house? In Madrid. It's in Madrid. Lesson 14, part 2. I've got a large house in Madrid. Have I got a house in Barcelona? No, not in Barcelona. You've got a house in Madrid. Is the house large or small? Large. The house is large and not small. Has Lisa got a large house? No, you've got a large house. And where is the house? In Madrid. It's in Madrid. Lesson 14, part 2. I've got a large house in Madrid. Have I got a house in Barcelona? No, not in Barcelona. You've got a house in Madrid. Is the house large or small? Large. The house is large and not small. Has Lisa got a large house? No, you've got a large house. And where is the house? In Madrid. It's in Madrid. Y ahora puedes ver la parte 3 cinco veces. También son preguntas y respuestas. Y como siempre, por favor, intenta hablar en voz alta junto con el vídeo. Lesson 14, part 3. And I'm selling it for 400,000 euro. Am I buying a house? No, 
You're not buying a house. You're selling your house. What am I selling? Your house. You're selling your house. How much does the house cost? Four hundred thousand euro. It costs four hundred thousand euro. What costs four hundred thousand euro? Your house. Your house costs four hundred thousand euro. Lesson fourteen, part three. And I'm selling it for four hundred thousand euro. Am I buying a house? No, you're not buying a house. You're selling your house. What am I selling? Your house. You're selling your house. How much does the house cost? Four hundred thousand euro. It costs four hundred thousand euro. What costs four hundred thousand euro? Your house. Your house costs four hundred thousand euro. Lesson fourteen, part three. And I'm selling it for four hundred thousand euro. Am I buying a house? No, you're not buying a house. You're selling your house. What am I selling? Your house. You're selling your house. How much does the house cost? Four hundred thousand euro. It costs four hundred thousand euro. What costs four hundred thousand euro? Your house. Your house costs four hundred thousand euro. Lesson fourteen, part three. And I'm selling it for four hundred thousand euro. Am I buying a house? No, you're not buying a house. You're selling your house. What am I selling? Your house. You're selling your house. How much does the house cost? Four hundred thousand euro. It costs four hundred thousand euro. What costs four hundred thousand euro? Your house. Your house costs four hundred thousand euro. Lesson fourteen, part three. And I'm selling it for four hundred thousand euro. Am I buying a house? No. You're not buying a house. You're selling your house. What am I selling? Your house. You're selling your house. How much does the house cost? Four hundred thousand euro. It costs four hundred thousand euro. What costs four hundred thousand euro? Your house. Your house costs four hundred thousand euro. Y aquí tienes la parte cuatro del video completo. Y otra vez con preguntas y respuestas. Lesson 14, Part 4 Now we need an apartment in London. Do we need a bike? No, you don't need a bike. What do we need? An apartment. You need an apartment. And where do we need an apartment? In London. You need an apartment in London. And when do we need an apartment? Now. You need an apartment now. Lesson 14, Part 4 Now we need an apartment in London. Do we need a bike? No, you don't need a bike. What do we need? An apartment. You need an apartment. And where do we need an apartment? In London. You need an apartment in London. And when do we need an apartment? Now. You need an apartment now. Lesson 14, Part 4 Now we need an apartment in London. Do we need a bike? No, you don't need a bike. What do we need? An apartment. You need an apartment. And where do we need an apartment? In London. You need an apartment in London. And when do we need an apartment? Now. You need an apartment now. Lesson 14, Part 4 Now we need an apartment in London. Do we need a bike? No, you don't need a bike. What do we need? An apartment. You need an apartment. And where do we need an apartment? In London. You need an apartment in London. 
And when do we need an apartment? Now. You need an apartment now. Lesson 14, Part 4. Now we need an apartment in London. Do we need a bike? No, you don't need a bike. What do we need? An apartment. You need an apartment. And where do we need an apartment? In London. You need an apartment in London. And when do we need an apartment? Now. You need an apartment now. ¿Y? ¿Podías hablar en voz alta junto con el video? Si es así, entonces estás preparado para hacer las preguntas y respuestas con Quizlet. El enlace está en la descripción del video. Entonces ahora, por favor, para el video y aprende activamente las preguntas y respuestas con Quizlet. Y si tienes todavía problemas con la gramática o el vocabulario, entonces puedes descargar mi libro de gramática y mi libro de vocabulario en la descripción de este vídeo. Y estos libros tienen todo lo que lo necesitas para alcanzar un nivel A2. Si te gusta nuestro curso y quieres ayudarnos para producir más contenido gratuito, entonces puedes hacer una donación. El enlace puedes encontrar en la descripción del vídeo o simplemente haz clic en el corazón debajo del vídeo. Y con cada donación podemos producir más contenido de alta calidad y ofrecer todo esto de forma gratuita. Muchísimas gracias por tu apoyo y tu ayuda. Y ahora vamos a volver a la lección. Y ahora puedes ver la parte 5 del vídeo completo. Aquí la mujer cuenta la historia en presente y tercera persona. Ve esta parte también cinco veces y por favor habla en voz alta junto con el vídeo. Lesson 14, part 5. Ben hasn't got a small house. He's got a large house in Madrid. And he's selling it for 400,000 euro. Now, Ben and Lisa need an apartment in London. Lesson 14, part 5. Ben hasn't got a small house. He's got a large house in Madrid and he's selling it for 400,000 euro. Now, Ben and Lisa need an apartment in London. Lesson 14, part 5. Ben hasn't got a small house. He's got a large house in Madrid and he's selling it for 400,000 euro. Now, Ben and Lisa need an apartment in London. Lesson 14, part 5. Ben hasn't got a small house. He's got a large house in Madrid. And he's selling it for 400,000 euro. Now, Ben and Lisa need an apartment in London. Lesson 14, part 5. Ben hasn't got a small house. He's got a large house in Madrid. And he's selling it for 400,000 euro. Now, Ben and Lisa need an apartment in London. En la parte 6, Ben cuenta su historia en primera persona en el pasado. Y también tienes que ver esta parte cinco veces repetidos. Lesson 14, part 6. I didn't have a small house. I had a large house in Madrid. And I sold it for 400,000 euro. So, we needed an apartment in London. Lesson 14, part 6. I didn't have a small house. I had a large house in Madrid. And I sold it for 400,000 euro. So, we needed an apartment in London. Lesson 14, part 6. I didn't have a small house. I had a large house in Madrid. And I sold it for 400,000 euro. So, we needed an apartment in London. Lesson 14, part 6. I didn't have a small house. I had a large house in Madrid. And I sold it for 400,000 euro. So, we needed an apartment in London. Lesson 14, part 6. I didn't have a small house. I had a large house in Madrid. 
and I sold it for €400,000. So, we needed an apartment in London. Y ahora puedes ver la parte 7, donde la mujer cuenta la historia en pasado y en tercera persona. Lesson 14, Part 7 Ben had a large house in Madrid, and he sold it for €400,000. Lisa and Ben didn't need an apartment in Paris. They needed an apartment in London. Lesson 14, Part 7 Ben had a large house in Madrid, and he sold it for €400,000. Lisa and Ben didn't need an apartment in Paris. They needed an apartment in London. Lesson 14, Part 7 Ben had a large house in Madrid, and he sold it for €400,000. Lisa and Ben didn't need an apartment in Paris. They needed an apartment in London. Lesson 14, Part 7 Ben had a large house in Madrid, and he sold it for €400,000. Lisa and Ben didn't need an apartment in Paris. They needed an apartment in London. Lesson 14, Part 7 Ben had a large house in Madrid, and he sold it for €400,000. Lisa and Ben didn't need an apartment in Paris. They needed an apartment in London. A partir de la lección 14, tenemos una parte 8. Aquí la chica cuenta la historia de Ben en futuro y en tercera persona. Ahora vas a ver esta parte también cinco veces seguidas. Lesson 14, Part 8 Ben has a large house in Madrid. He's going to sell it for 400,000 euro. So, Ben and Lisa are going to need an apartment in London. Talk to you later. Have a great day! Lesson 14, Part 8 Ben has a large house in Madrid. He's going to sell it for €400,000. So, Ben and Lisa are going to need an apartment in London. Talk to you later. Have a great day! Lesson 14, Part 8 Ben has a large house in Madrid. He's going to sell it for €400,000. So, Ben and Lisa are going to need an apartment in London. Talk to you later. Have a great day! Lesson 14, Part 8 Ben has a large house in Madrid. He's going to sell it for €400,000. So, Ben and Lisa are going to need an apartment in London. Talk to you later. Have a great day! Lesson 14, Part 8 Ben has a large house in Madrid. He's going to sell it for €400,000. So, Ben and Lisa are going to need an apartment in London. Talk to you later. Have a great day! Espero que hayas podido hablar en voz alta junto con el video. Porque este paso es muy importante. Si es así, puedes ahora contar la historia con Quizlet. El enlace está en la descripción del video. Por eso ahora, para el video y cuenta activamente en primera, segunda y tercera persona, en presente y en pasado, con la ayuda de las imágenes en Quizlet la historia. Y como siempre, al final de cada lección tenemos un vocabulario extra. Ahora vamos a ver el vídeo. Primero vas a escucharlo y luego puedes hablar en voz alta juntos con el vídeo. Vamos allá. 100 100 200 200 300 300 400 400 500 500 600 
six hundred, seven hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, nine hundred, one thousand, one thousand. One thousand two hundred and thirty four. One thousand two hundred and thirty four. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Y ahora es tu turno para aprender el vocabulario extra con Quizlet. El enlace, como siempre, está en la descripción. Entonces, por favor, para ahora el vídeo y aprende activamente el vocabulario con Quizlet. Espero que hayas completado con éxito todos los pasos de esta lección. Si es así, entonces puedes seguir con la siguiente lección. Muchísimas, muchísimas gracias por tomar este curso conmigo y nos vemos en la siguiente lección.